Welcome back to game two between Sad Cows Go Moo and HNN. This is Doom Joker casting with I Win Quaffle from Why So Serious Starcraft. Hey guys. Test bug. I like this map. Me too. It's uh it is a three player map, so it is um uh it is symmetrically dimensional fuck. What was it called? I, don't I know. swore. I shouldn't have swore on our YouTube channel, guys. I'm sorry <laughs> to all you little youngins watching. <laughs> Plug your ears. Earmuffs. 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 You know, just like a... Oh, Tri what's that? Trisymmetrical, maybe? Is that what it's called? Rotationally symmetrical. That's okay. what it is. <laughs> nice. Yes. Nice. Yes. So, this is game two between these two players. Mm -hmm. Um... Sad Cows Go Moo won the game one. If you guys haven't catched that out, you guys should check that out right now. Yep, yep. And just to kind of uh, save face for HNN, uh, we did have... This is actually the third game that these guys are playing, and I screwed up my audio for the first game. But yeah. don't worry. I'll, I'll give you a little rundown of that game. Sad Cows Cat ran into his room <laughs> and sat on his keyboard... And screwed up his probe, his probe line, and he had about six idle probes chilling in his uh, mineral line. Yeah. I, so, yeah. What and, does he have a lion? Yeah, right. Sitting on his computer, he can't see his probes because it's in the way. <laughs> yes. And oh, we have uh, H and N scouting him uh, correctly in the first, in the first way. Actually, H and N had two SUVs scouting out and has no barracks. Anywhere, I don't know if H and N has ever played this map because he's kind of just. Oh bro. my gosh! Oh my god! A bro, a command center before anything by H and N. That is awesome. Do we call this a proxy command center? I don't think so. I think we just call this the command center rush. That's what I'm calling it. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's a it's a hidden command center at in a completely strange area. Um, really strange area. Possibly, it, what in the heck? I yeah. like it, though. And if Sedcow understands the timings, he is going to look around here and he's going to say, what the heck is going on? And he's going to first probably think proxy. As a protest, that's what I would be thinking. That would be chrono exactly what uh, Sedcow is doing. He's chronoing out units, and he wants to be able to save from everything. And he's got an extra probe going out scouting, kind of looking around. To see what the heck is going on. Yeah, that's a great, great response. Definitely, mm -hmm. you got to be able to chrono some guys out. Good awareness, though, of the timing. He's saying he should have more things up by now. He's not going any gas. He's like, is there, is there a proxy barracks around my base, or what's going on? Yeah. Um. He does got kind of like an idle probe just chilling. I don't think that's the greatest spot to look for a proxy, as uh, units could come in through right here that he can't see. Mm-hmm. Uh, but H and N is persistent at killing this probe. He has three <laughs> SUVs chasing him, like like on like a schoolyard chase or something bit like for that. Bit for bit, bit for bit. That's what the SUVs say when they attack. They go, <laughs> bit by bit, and they attack him with their drill bits, which is awesome. These guys are set on killing this. Crazy! What is happening right now? We do yeah. see the stalker and the zealot checking around everything in his base, checking, making sure he hasn't landed some barracks up at his base right now. Yeah, Sedkhouse is really confused and probably thinking that H and N is just a noob at this point and <laughs> just hasn't spent any money. Maybe he thought his cat sat on his keyboard and yeah. screwed up his build order. Not too sure. Not too sure, but he is definitely confused. Mm -hmm. But H and N now oh. has two orbitals and is just throwing down mules. Uh, and H and N also just dropped a, uh, ah, a scan okay. on Sad Cow's base because he has that extra orbital. Yes, I thought he was dropping down mules because I saw the energy drop, but I didn't see any more any mules. Yep, so. It was actually a scan. There is a mule up in the uh, his hidden one, but it was a, one of them was a scan. Ah, we see nice. a Twilight Council and an expansion coming down for Sad Cow. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember watching the NS NASL and Greetorp making an awesome point on finding hidden command centers. 
if you as a Protoss or a Zerg or even as another Terran scout your Terran opponent and there's no energy on the command center and you know for a fact that there hasn't been any scans on you anytime recently that means that he's dropping mules somewhere other than his main that's an excellent point I like that yes and I'm going to give all the credit to Greetorp because he's the one who taught me that and ever I since like then that. I that's what I look for. Have, I never would have thought that, but that, that's great. We mm -hmm. do see Sad Cow moving in with a nice group, of, a little bit of army. Mm -hmm. um, H&N's probably going to be able to stuff this. He does have a barracks. He has a bunch of Marines up here. Yep. He's going to be able to back them off. Yep, there's nothing uh, Sad Cow can do to break that right now. And Sad Cow's probably thinking, how does he have so much stuff? Uh, he only scouted the tech lab, and he sees the missile turret, so he may cancel his DT shrine, even though... D DTs can do a great job of controlling the map. Yeah. Um, yeah. This is cool. This is cool. I like matches that just that are unorthodox. I love unorthodox matches. And we did see that last match. If you guys watched Game One, they, mm -hmm. I mean, the hidden Stargate, the just cloaked Banshee, like stuff like that, are just fun. Yeah, this is really cool. Sadcow does have an expansion up now that. He's doing a great job of saturating. He's got a photon, a photon cannon going up in his mineral line. Not sure if there's banshees going coming uh, or anything really. He he doesn't know what's going on. H and We do have two DTs morphed in right now. We're gonna want to keep an eye on them. They are just now leaving the base. I don't. They, are they possibly gonna scout? Possibly because mm -hmm. it does look like uh, he's got one DT running to the watchtower and another DT going straight to the base huh. he does know that there's a missile turret at the top of uh, HNN's ramp so mm -hmm. I hope he doesn't run up there and lose the DT but he is going to scout the command center and now Sadkow is going to be really confused because he's going to say why are you expanding after sitting in your base for so long He's going to drop a scan, possibly, on this DT and kill it off. Does he have any scans? He should. He has two orbitals. He needs to drop a scan on that, which happens right now. Whoa. Oh, he actually walked inside the turret range. Oh, okay. I was going to say. H&N did a nice little job luring him in there. Uh, I didn't know turrets could look that far. Uh, yeah, that now was, he drops a scan because he really needs to get that turret up. Yeah, absolutely. Drop and scan. And there, great scan because that DT comes right into it. He's going to slow him down mm -hmm. just enough time. He needs to get that turret up, though. And he does drop another scan, kills that DT. That great turret DT is now harass. remaking. And we got more DTs coming in. Yep. This is great DT harass, forcing scans. Now he's pr trying to protect his turret, which isn't going in his in his favor. Now he's got oh, he two DTs in there. Scan, two DTs in there. He's doesn't have another scan. Yeah, and he's getting so many kills off. He kills, uh... And now he's... Oh, he's going to lure him up into oh, the other... D into the range? No, he stays out of the range. He needs mm -hmm. to get him up in it, but... Sad Cow is too smart not going up the ramp. The FC is going up the ramp and almost got killed. Yeah, this is really bad for H&N right now. Fortunate for him, he has had this hidden base up here for so long that... Oh, yeah. Every, everything he does right now, he's economically ahead. Absolutely. He also has a Raven coming out, which is definitely going to stuff this uh, DT pressure. Absolutely. It's just halfway done. Ravens take a long time to build, though, so it's going to be a little bit. He does. He is saving all his energy, though, for to drop down scans because mm -hmm. these DTs are doing a decent, decent job of harassing. Yep. And, He's uh, going to be able to hold this off. One more scan should be able to kill this off. Yep. Scans down. Missile turrets down. Ravens almost out. The DTs are going to be basically useless from yep. now on. Sekhau did a great job of forcing scans. Uh, it's about a 300 cost from a mule. Is that right? Or is it about 400? 300 to 400 minerals. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know better than me, but... Well, I play Protoss, so... I like <laughs> yeah, to I think play, it's... I don't uh... play Terran either. So, <laughs> if Terrans are watching, please tell us what the cost, how much mules gather. Yep, yep. And now we see H&N saying this is enough. I'm going to come in and kill you now because you've oh, been wasting man. so many DTs. Yep, that's a scary army, and it doesn't look like Sad Cow has any sort of army composition to be able to battle this. Yep, and now he's completely contained. There's no he, There's no way he's getting out of this. No. Uh, he is making an Archon right now, but all he really has right now is 
a handful of zealots, a stalker, and an archon, which is not going to stop this these eight tanks and uh, no, it's going to be a GG here. Yep, just too many. Those archons do wear those tank shells for a while, though. Yeah, they have so much health and they take no bonus damage from anything. So there's the GG. <laughs> Great game. Can we game. see the GG? Um, I really want to say. I'd have to put that game up as that definitely that command center just get, just definitely won it because he had all that extra um, extra energy for scans. He had that mm -hmm. extra econ. He was able to pump out that big army. He kept Sad Cow guessing. Sad Cow didn't know what was going on. He was trying to find what was going on, trying to do a little bit of harass, but he was always on his heels. Yep. So great I, that, job that by both players. Push, yeah. The mind game definitely goes to H and N this game as you. Stated. Absolutely. Hopefully go to game three. GG. GG.